why the narcissist always wins in the end. Your entire life, you were encouraged to be a good person. You were encouraged to do the right thing, to follow the rules, to be polite, to always say yes whenever you were told to do something, regardless of the consequences. You were primed to be this way from the very beginning because your parents may have used it to control you. But this might not seem like a bad thing. You might think that it's important to be a good person. But the problem arises when you come across people who are not good. People who are bad. Because although they're not nice, they always get what they want. The sad reality is that good people lose out on everything. Empaths lose out on everything. You've only got to look around at the world to see that narcissists are the ones who are in control. They're the ones who have high paid jobs. They're the ones who are in management positions. Because good people let them get ahead. They stand out of the way because they don't want to get in trouble. They always have to do the right thing. Even at their own expense. Which is why if you don't want the narcissist to win, you have to take a leaf out of their book. You have to be more narcissistic if you want to get what you want. Because that's all narcissism really is. Narcissism is about focusing on your own feelings and needs rather than constantly catering to everyone else. There is a spectrum, and if you have been watching my videos, it's likely that you are on the opposite end of that spectrum. You may be codependent. You may desire approval. So you give more and more without expecting anything in return which always results in you never getting what you want. Which is why you need to become more narcissistic. There is such thing as a healthy level of narcissism and codependency. And it's where we should all strive to be where we take care of our own feelings and needs while also considering those of other people. Because the reason why the narcissist always wins is because you're too far on the other side of the spectrum where you're just letting them do whatever they want. You're not even trying to protect yourself. You're not even thinking about what you want. Being nice is not going to get you what you want. Just look back at your relationship with the narcissist. Remember all those times you tried to be civil. You try to be courteous and polite. Where did that get you? Did it ever get you the result you wanted? 
Narcissists do not respect your kindness. It doesn't compel them to consider you. They just see it as a weakness. They see it as something they can exploit. When you're being nice, they just think you're stupid. They think they've got one over on you. They think they've pulled the wool over your eyes because they know they're not deserving of your kindness. But your entire life, you have been taught to be nice so that you can get along with the people around you. When that just doesn't work with a narcissist because they're not nice to you, they're not interested in getting along if it means that they can't get what they want. So when you're being nice to the narcissist, you're just placing a restriction on yourself. You're preventing yourself from getting the result that you want. And you're doing that because it doesn't feel good when you stand up for yourself. Maybe you feel shame because you're going against everything that you've been taught. You're doing something that you were told is wrong, which may make you feel very uncomfortable. Especially if you do end up getting the result that you want. Because then the narcissist is going to be looking at you. They're going to see it as though you got what they wanted. As though you took it away from them. So sometimes it feels more comfortable for you to just sit back and let them do what they want because you're afraid of people's disapproval. But when you do that, they always win. Which is why you need to stop worrying about what other people think. Those same people who are judging you would probably do the same thing if they were in your shoes. But they can't see it from your perspective because they're not experiencing it firsthand. So it's easy for them to judge you. If pursuing what you want makes other people mad, why should you care about what they think? Why should you try to understand people who aren't trying to understand you? They can be as mad as they want. But if you're getting what you want, you win. The reality is that when you go after what you want, there's always going to be people that don't like you. But if you're too nice, you're going to be afraid of other people's disapproval. And you will not go after what you want. You will just let the narcissist win. Even though you may be fully capable of defeating them. Which is why this fear of not being liked is just limiting your potential. It's preventing you from getting the result that you want. If you want to leave the narcissist, just do it. Don't worry about what other people think. They don't have to live your life. They don't have to suffer the consequences of not making that decision. So it's easy for them to judge you.
they may not like you. But what difference does it make if you're finally free? If you're finally able to live the life that you want, you still win. It doesn't matter if other people don't like you. It's not going to affect you unless they try to stop you. And if they try to stop you, it's because they know you're capable of getting the result that you want. So you just have to keep going. Leave them in the dust. The narcissist always wins at the end because you limit yourself by being too nice, by worrying about what other people think. The only thing that's preventing you from achieving the result that you want is fear. Which is why you have to let go of the fear and continue pursuing what you want. Don't let your emotions dictate your actions. Use your logic and reason. Use your knowledge and experience so that you can achieve the result you want. If you're afraid, you will never get what you want because you're never going to take action. Your entire life you've been taught to be nice. You've been taught to cooperate with people. But now you're cooperating with someone to help them get the result that they want which is at your expense. By being nice and not taking action, you are only assisting them in defeating you, while they're not afraid of other people's disapproval. They're not worried about how it might affect you. But you're walking on eggshells, trying not to offend them. Being nice is not going to get you what you want. You have to fight fire with fire. Even if you find it distasteful. Because that's the only way you're going to get what you want. That's the only way that you're going to be free. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries, you can email me at coaching.nartofiver.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.